Hello, and welcome back to J610. Today we will continue playing Theme Park Tycoon 2, and, as you can see, we're in our little secret room accessible by the chimney we built. So for one, let's get a cannon in here, so we want to delete this, we want to zoom out, maybe we can actually, here, here, let's do some, some trickery here, let's zoom out, and then let's, let's, like, seriously pinpoint ac accuracy, get this, this boy here. In fact, uh, let's delete this whole floor because that looks kind of weird down below, so speed mode, replace it with these actual blocks. Okay, there we go, we did it. Uh, now we want to get the cannon. So we get the cannon, well, yeah, the cannon. Uh, so we will get this cannon via... Actually, this building looks super weird, though. In fact, we need uh, fences and walls before we get the cannon or anything else. We need to get this. And then... Uh, <clears throat> that's, I guess, about it. We, we'll just get this end part. Well, now we'll get this. <clears throat> and... <coughs> oh, man, I'm dying! Okay, I'm back. Wow, that w that took a little bit. Okay, so we got this. Maybe... Okay, I think I found a solution. Yeah, so we'll just get this right here. And this right here. And then that looks less weird. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll get... Oh! Okay, you gotta be careful. There we go. Okay, so we're in here. And so that is right there. So there's gonna be another building. Imagine this, okay? So we got another building. And then we have a, uh, a hole in another wall, and then we're firing in between buildings. So we go into a cannon here, and then we fire into another building. So this is going to be a tower, right? But that's the thing is, on the inside, it's not going to be that tall. And you're going to be like, oh, well, it's just a roof. And you'd if you didn't know about this, then you'd be like, oh, well, then I guess there's nothing going on there. But then you'd see this cannon, get interested, and be like, oh, maybe I should find how that cannon gets into there and what's in that room. <laughs> And it turns out that you find that, go through the whole system, you know. Just more things that, like, prove that there's definitely secrets in this map, so that people go look for them. Of course, uh... Oh, man. Oh, I, I, every single time I record, I feel like I've got a cold of some kind. It's weird. Uh, we will get this cannon, change this color to... The... Oh, actually, I think I just did that completely wrong. No, I didn't. Well, in any case, let's get Picker, let's just grab this boy, and then let's fire ourselves from here. So we then would- go. Oh, well, okay, I guess that works. Well, that's weird. Okay, let's- let's just get back up there. No, that's not how you do it. No- ow! I just face-planted. In this game, I guess you- like, with R15 and stuff on this game, it'll face-plant you if you lose balance. So you can just touch the side part and get shot? <coughs> Apparently so. I hope- I'm pretty sure it teleports you- Okay, wait. Let's see where we land when we're- Okay, I think it does take you to the correct place still. But that is certainly annoying and is certainly a problem. <laughs> hmm. I'm trying to think about how I'd fix this. I'm pretty sure- Okay, let me- Climb in here the normal way, right? And then I should... Okay, so I land right here, and then let's see if I touch it on the side. Do I still land in that same- that same spot? Okay, from the side... Come on, do it. Yeah, we do, but that was from behind, but do- <clears throat> I think actually it takes us to the correct spot. Uh, so that- that should work. Maybe I should move this a little bit further inward, though, since, I mean, we do have the room to do that. So let's go over here, see what it's like a little further inward. Does it hit the roof or anything weird? Because we don't necessarily want people to, like, directly see the cannon. Okay, that does definitely make some weird contact with the roof. 
so let's delete this and move it back close. And you know what? If people see it, they see it. That's that's go a good thing in itself, because then it, like, tells them, oh, there's secrets. You know? Like, if you're going through this alleyway and then you see this, you want to go up there, but... But how do I get there? How do I get to that point? And then you look around and you're like, wow, there's actually a lot of cannons around here. You know, there's there seems to be some kind of thing going, because those cannons are in some interesting places. And then you come to realize, oh, wait a second, there's secrets. And then, essentially, my hope <laughs> is at the end of this first section, you go, there's going to be a teleporter, which is an achievement unlock thing, which I have not yet unlocked, so... You know, it's gonna be a pain, but hey, you know, let's get some torches. I mean, uh, we haven't lit this place up. We lit the inside of that up, but we haven't been lighting up the outside. And it's gonna get pretty dark at night, so let's get some of these. I, in between recordings, uh, went and got myself some Chinese... Chinese food. Well, <clears throat> I didn't go and get myself. My family brought it to me graciously. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Oh my gosh, wait, give me a sec while I set my timer. Darn it. Okay, there we go. Gosh, I've had to take a lot of breaks to do random stuff. Uh, we want to get this building settled, though. So, anyway, as I was saying, in between recordings I ate some spicy... Well, not actually. Actually, no, it was not spicy. But it was indeed Chinese food. And, uh, it tasted really good, but it was sweet and sour chicken? Now, I'm sure... I mean, it's more likely that you will be familiar with the, uh general chicken, or just like the normal, like, chicken, the one that's not sweet. I mean, for the longest time, I was- I never knew sweet and sour chicken existed. I thought, you know, general chicken was where it was at. <laughs> now, I don't know if any of you eat at restaurants uh, restaurants that were Chinese, and probably you met- eat at authentic Chinese restaurants. <laughs> but in any case, what the heck? It looks like this- this is, like, lit up. That's weird. They're all in the dark. I- I don't think they care, though. <laughs> Extremely cheap, you say. Anyway, uh, sweet and sour chicken is a lot better, in my opinion. We want to get, well, for one, we need some lights in here. So let's, uh, <clears throat> let's get some lights. We want this, this, and we probably can't put anything there. Yeah, whatever. We want this, we want this, this, you know, this, this, and this, and that's good. Okay. It's still pretty dark in here. Here's what I'm going to do, though. So I'm going to go into terrain. Go, uh, click... Well, actually... I, this is kind of like... I don't know, because... This is kind of like the kind of situation that you'd find, uh... <laughs> that you'd find in medieval times. Because if everything's torchlit, then, you know, it's gonna be... Well, like, what's going on here? Maybe... Ooh, I know. I know what we should do. We should, uh... Okay, this is one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three three inward. Okay, so we got that, and then let's, uh, let's build, go to fences and walls, and here, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually, let's see if I can build a real fire, fireplace. Like, uh, let's see. So we get this, we get, uh, this, 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 and then we get, uh, Let's get- go to terrain, uh, bl uh, remove air, we need this whole section to have air- remove air. Actually, let's go down here, down here, down here, down here, and then let's go to props. Let's go all the way over here to go to where the lighting is, and we will put a light orb in there. That way it just kind of lights things up a bit. And then let's get, uh, block manipulation grass. Get some grass in here, fill this back up. Okay, and then let's remove air again. This time, getting rid of these boys, getting rid of all this, because it's all gonna be the dry grass. So we want this dry grass, dry grass, all this dry grass. Dry... well, actually, I could definitely do a really nice rhyme, but, uh, it's a wordy dirt, so we can't do that here. Let's get some black granite. Yeah. And then we'll get a... some props, and then we'll get a, uh, campfire prop in here. Wherever it is. Gosh dang it, campfire prop, where are you? 
Where's the can- I must have missed it somewhere, because it is definitely in here somewhere. Uh, but where is the question? Is it in others? Is that where it is? I don't get it. Where Where is this thing? How am I missing it? Where's the campfire? Where did you go? Is it in nature? <sighs> Are you kidding me? It's in nature. Anyway, there we go. We got- we've got a, uh, genuine fireplace here. It's kind of obstructing, though. Um, maybe we should, uh... Eh, whatever. I don't care. We got- okay, so we got a fireplace. Maybe we should, uh, actually, here. Instead of having it right there, let's get this. I know it's not, like, directly above the fireplace, but I don't think people are gonna really consider this. And if they do, oh well for you, because I don't really care. Kind of rhymed quite a bit. Um, I'm pretty happy with that rhyme. Uh, let's see. Let's get this, these walls, let's get all of- actually, we don't need that many walls. We can get this, 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 and then let's get- go to props. Oh no, nature. Just nature. Get this boy, and then there, there we go. Now, let's see, uh... Oh man, okay, yeah, never mind. I'm not gonna have a fireplace, because it just does not fit the setting. I kind of built this- that, that's probably the mistake that I made, is is deciding to make this kind of look like a factory, but if I wanted my idea to work, then it's it would- I wanted it to be a chimney, so it's a chimney. It's a chimney. People aren't gonna consider the lore of my building unless you are from my channel. You won't be like, Oh, this chimney doesn't fit the lore of this theme park. No, you're not gonna be that person, probably. I hope you're not that person, because... You know, that, that, that person isn't accepted here. <laughs> no. I make the rules here. I do- judge. I make the decisions. This is my day. It is my day! Okay, so we got all these down. Let's go props. <clears throat> Find the hay bales. Here we go. Let's get some of these. Some of this. You know, just hay. We already have something with hay in it, but... Hey, man. We gotta get this. We gotta get some more hay. Uh, we want this. Okay. There we go. We got that. And then we want... Uh, we want some actual stables. So let's get... Uh, fences and walls. Let's get the wooden walls. So we'll go all the way- oh, wait, no, it's right there. So we'll get some wooden walls like this, 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 this. I'm just imagining what a st what some stables would look like. Uh, we want some- we want to go to the wooden wall section and get, I guess, some of the- nah, that's kind of weird. Uh, we want- uh, it's kind of cramped over here. Let's get rid of these, because we don't necessarily need them. Okay, we will want to get... Oh, let's go back to... Let's just click copy, because it brings us to the right section anyway. And then we want to get this on both sides. And then we want uh, this. And let's get let's get one right here, too. Uh, we want this and this. They feel a little thicker than usual, I don't know why. Uh, and then we want... let's see... Uh, props. We want to get... Some torches, like, down in here. Just in general, down here. And then we want... Uh, to remove these torches. Get the picker. Let's see what else we have in store for us. Let's get some... Where's the curved wooden... Okay, here we go. Curved wooden walls. This should work a lot better. Okay, here we go. We get these. And these. Okay, there we go. And then we want... Roofs and ceilings. We want to get some of these boys right here. I love how the curvular ones cost more. Like, why? Why is that even a thing? Oh, we- it just automatically removes those torches. It's interesting. Now, how does this look? It certainly looks interesting. I- I'll- I'll- I'll definitely say that much. 
They do look like stables, though. They do. Okay, so we want to go back to fences and walls. Let's just use the... the clone tools so that we can go over here. Get some of this. And then let's put some props in here that make it look more like one, like a bucket of water. Yeah, so like a water bucket. And then I... Oh, oh come on. Yeah, there we go. Then we want... Uh, what else? What else would be in there? Uh, maybe we want some wooden planks, just kind of, we cannot build through composed structures. Okay, whatever, let's get some wooden planks, like, kind of, like that, just to add some detail onto it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, let's, let's get some of them right there. That's kind of interesting. Uh, we don't want any of these, that would look way too weird. Yeah, that looks very weird. Uh, let's get rid of that. I think that those planks actually add to it quite a bit. Uh, we want props. Let's see what else we can put in there. Like, do we want a, just a stray hay bale? What what else would fit in this setting? Um, not, <laughs> not a truck, not a dumpster. Uh, I suppose we just want want to put some hay in there. Like, some hay in the side, you know? Just like that. And then, uh... And then get some hay bales over here. And then one right here. And then that should be good. Yeah! I'd say that fits. Okay, so this is called, uh... This is called Fake Spinning Horses. Okay. So we'll get... We'll get some... Some nice title for this. So let's go over here, grab up one of these signs. And then put this here. Not medieval s subway, not spubby, because it's censored. Uh, fake spinning horses. Let me just see if that was okay. Yeah. Okay, it's fake spinning horses. There we go. Oh wait, we need the entrance. Oh man, I have the hiccups now. What the heck? Okay, here's this, and here's this. Oh, let's just let's just delete it, and then let's just get picker and grab up this boy. Boom, boom. There we go. Does that work? I actually need to see this. Uh... Uh, here we go. Uh... Actually, let me just... Delete this real quick so that I can get through. And then, uh... Okay, fine. Let's, let's do a little... A little trick... Some trickery here. Let's... Grab... This up. Put this right here, and then seal up this little hole that we made. But does that work? I, yeah, it does, and it also keeps people from jumping down into there. So, that does indeed work. Let's put... here. Uh... Let's put... here, let's... Just to make it look a little bit better, let's go down to others, I suppose, and let's get this. Boom. 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 There we go. Ooh, maybe we can get some, uh... Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we want to try to fire through it now. Gosh dang it. Okay, fine. I'll delete this wall. Then put it back. And then, we'll fire into it. Let's see. Take us through the door, please. Yes, it does! It takes us through the door! Okay, it works! That's fantastic, because... Oh, crud. If I just managed to make a way to break in, though... Well, not necessarily, because... It's very difficult to break in. I mean, I'm sure you could glitch in, but that's not how you're supposed to do it, and if you know how to glitch, you'd probably know how to find the actual solution. I by glitch, I mean, like, going up here, and... I, it's, I'm pretty sure it's a lot harder to do with R15, or it might be impossible to do with R15. No, you can do it with R15. It just, uh, it's not recommended, because you want to actually do the thing. You want to do the thing, and you want to do it correctly. So now we have that finished. So thank you all for watching! I hope you enjoyed the episode. We finally finished the building for Fake Spinning Horses. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, but are enjoying what you're watching, because... Honestly, at least for me, this series has been super fun to record, 
I have really been enjoying this. Our park, like, the, the buildings, it's just spiraling out of control. Like, look at this building. This is not medieval anymore. This is, like, some weird new fantasy medieval, like, steampunk crap going on here. I don't even know. I don't even know what's gonna happen next. Like, look at all these weird holes and patches and things that probably weren't meant to happen, but did because the game just makes it happen. It's pretty insane. It's pretty nuts. Um, but thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!